Hey guys, it's getting late. It's uh, not late in the day, but late in the season. It's September 21st, and we've had a couple of nights where the temperature has dropped down to the mid 30s. So I'm going to go ahead and clean up a lot of the stuff. Actually, not a lot of the stuff. But I'm going to take the corn and the potatoes. Um, I really am not expecting a lot from the potatoes because I'm not sure why. I'm just not. But the spaghetti squash, the acorn squash, they are all dying back as you can see. And I have that mold problem on the leaves which is I'm not sure what to do about that but I thought I'd bring you all along for the potato harvest so I can embarrass myself with the Ruth Stout back to Eden blah 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 method and um, well we'll see what we have here so let us take a look I don't know how well you can see this. Hopefully it's not upside down as my display is showing that it is. But these are, a lot of people don't know, there's a couple of varieties of potatoes that actually produce berries. And these berries are toxic, so you don't want to eat these. But these are basically potato seeds and each berry can contain between three and five hundred seeds. Um, they're obviously very small. But I'm going to save some of these and see what I can do next year with them. So we'll see how this works out. But for now, we're going to pull up some potatoes. These leftover, so to speak, I'm going to save and let them compost back into the soil. So I'm not going to just throw them away. Okay, there's one. But apparently a mole or a vole has gotten a hold of it. I don't know if you can see that. The sun is unfortunately at my back, so I can't really see the display. But that would have been a good sized potato if it hadn't been gotten to first. But we won't waste the good part. We'll cut that off. little one that's been, they beat me to it. Now we're going to try and center this camera a little better. Let me see where we're at. As I said, this is the, uh, back to Eden root stout method and I haven't weeded I've watered a couple of times throughout the year and good golly man whatever has gotten underground here is really cleaning up they're eating better than I am A couple of nice ones, a couple of little puny ones. A 
I'm surprised. There's actually quite a bit of potatoes under here, but son of a gun. If Hopefully that's showing up. You can see that one. They've eaten quite a bit of that. Just starting on this guy here. And boy, is this soil so nice underneath and it's so loose. I don't know, again, if you can see that because the sun is facing me. There's a lot of worms and bugs and stuff crawling around in here. And I don't want anything to come up on its own. I want to plant everything that comes up. Another little tiny guy. And I believe that I only planted four potatoes in here late spring. And believe it or not, these were planted from store-bought potatoes that had sprouted in my drawer. Here's a couple of pretty nice ones. And I got to tell you, I'm truly surprised. Here's a bunch more. Geez, I really hope this camera's picking this up. Well, I got to tell you, I'm completely surprised at how many potatoes are actually in here. I mean, this is, like I said, I think I've watered this two or three times this year. And I've weeded never. And again, these are store-bought potatoes, and it's my understanding that the uh, commercial potatoes are sprayed with something that keeps them from from growing, but apparently that's not the case either in Pennsylvania or it's just a wives' tale to uh, to make you go out and buy commercial seeds. I, I don't know. Okay, just a quick take on the potatoes. Um, I have a about 17 pounds of potatoes here. How do I know that? Because I have a scale. And this is from basically three plants because the fourth one, which is that golden, whatever they call it, didn't produce. And I'm kind of disappointed because that's one of my favorite potatoes. So we're going to start grabbing this corn which is basically grown the same way not basically it is grown the same way four or five inches of hay that was allowed to decompose and I think that I had 35 stalks here all together so let us take a look at that. But let's go ahead and take a look at what the corn harvest was. And I really, really didn't expect this. So I didn't go overboard with the planting. But you can bet I will next year because this is just too easy to pass up. I wish I had another month of guaranteed nice weather out and none of this mold on the squash and pumpkins. I still have a lot of cucumbers in there too, but we'll pick them another day. So guys, I hope you have a great Sunday and any questions, comments, just post them below and I'll reply. Take care y'all. Thanks for watching.